وَالَّذِينَ اِذَا عَنْفَقُوا لَمْ يُسْرِفُوا وَلَمْ يَقْتُرُوا وَكَانَ بَيْنَ ذَلِكَ قَوَامَا And those who when they spend, they are neither extravagant nor niggardly, but they take a way which is in between. وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَدْعُونَ مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحْنْ آخَرَ And those who don't call upon besides Allah any other God. وَلَا يَقْتُلُونَ النَّفْسَ الَّتِي حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بِالْحَقِّ And they don't slay. The soul, the human life, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forbidden, except by the legal right. If somebody has killed somebody, well, then he can be killed as a punishment and so on and so forth. But without any guilt, without any, you know, legal right, they don't kill. Well, I as noon, and then they don't commit adultery. These are the three biggest sins the biggest sins sins three number one to call upon any other god except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number one and that is the worst we have read in surah nisa twice the ayah inna la la yaghfiru wa yushraka bi wa yaghfiru ma duna zalika liman yasha this shirk is such a great sin that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never forgive it but he can he may if he likes he can forgive the smaller sins, but not shirk. So number one is shirk. Number two, to kill a person, human being, without any reason, without any legal right. And number three, adultery. Whosoever indulges in these things, he will have the punishment. On the day of judgment, their chastisement will be doubled. This ayah is very important in the Quran because through this ayah we understand that before the day of judgment also some azab is to come to the disbelievers. This azab will cover. Some people say, you know, especially those who don't give any importance to the ahadith of the Prophet ﷺ, so there, there's no mention of azab will cover. All these ahadiths, you know, they are baseless. No, it is here. Yuzaf lahu razabu yawm al qiyamah. Their punishment, their chastisement would be doubled on the day of judgment. It means they had been having some chastisement before also. Wa yakhlud fihi mohana, and then he will live, stay there, humiliated forever. Illa man taba. But there is an escape. Except those who repent, number one, wa'amana. And then they have the faith, the real belief. They renew their faith, renew their conviction. amalan salihan. And then they go, do good deeds. So three steps. Repentance, why I have done this? I should not have done this. Oh my Lord, I am ashamed. I, I should not have done this, number one. Then because, you know, a sin denotes that your belief in Allah was weak when you committed the sin. If the belief was there strong, you could not do any wrong thing. Because that belief, that iman, that faith had decreased in intensity, only then you could commit a sin. So now you have to renew your iman, renew your faith. And what is the proof that the faith has been renewed? Amal saleh. Now your deeds should be good. إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَأُولَائِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ So such are the people whose vices Allah will turn into virtues. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمًا And verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ever been forgiving and merciful. وَمَنْ تَابَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا And again, you know, emphasizing instead of three things, two things, first and the last. Whosoever repents and then does good deeds. Now you are repenting and repenting and repenting, you know, and you are repeating Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu ilayh 1000 times. I have done 10 tasbih of istighfar. To what use? If your actions are the same, you are indulging in the same sins, you are indulging in riba as you were indulging before, you are indulging now even. So what's the use of these? You know, ten tasbihat of istighfar, useless. 
وَمَن تَعْبَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا Whosoever repents and then he rectifies his deeds فَإِنَّهُ يَتُوبُ إِلَى اللَّهِ مَتَعْبَ So he is the one who actually turns to Allah as he should turn. وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَشْهَدُونَ الزُّورِ And those who don't bear false witness وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِاللَّغْوِ مَرُّوا كِرَامًا And when they perchance they pass by foolish indulgences or vain talking then they pass from there in a very with dignity they don't get involved in that you are going and you saw you know something is happening over there useless thing don't stand and watch it no leave it if it has no f- benefit for your world i told you that every second of human life is precious either it should be used so as some need of this world is fulfilled need real need or it should be used to get the reward in the hereafter not to use it for vain things waste it walladhina idha dhukkiru bi ayati rabbihim lam yakhru alaiha summa wa'udiyana and those who are admonished when they are admonished by the revelations of their lord they don't fall on it deaf and blind and this is the taunt actually on the kuffar on the disbelievers when the revelation was recited unto them they would never think upon it nor ponder over it but they will start you know differing and criticizing and mocking and laughing so as if they are deaf and blind walladhina yaquluna rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa zurriyyatina qurrata ayunin and those who keep on praying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh our lord give us grant us from our wives and children the coolness of our eyes and make us the leaders of the god fearing it doesn't mean that you should aspire for leadership what it means is that you are the natural leader of your family your wife your children your sons and daughters when on the day of judgment you are resurrected behind you will be coming your sons and daughters so they should be muttaqi people they should be god fearing so then you will you be very happy otherwise if behind you are coming different type of people you know your son but he was the disbeliever he was you know not a good man of good character so here it is the dua is that you make us lead the god fearing people people who are behind us they should be god fearing ulai ka yujzaun al ghurfata bima sabaru these are the people who will be rewarded with the highest places in the paradise for they endured patiently and persevered in the way of Allah wa yulaqawna fiha tahiyyatan wa salama and they will be welcomed there with they will be received there with greetings and salutations khalidin fiha and then they will abide in it forever hasanat mustaqarrama muqama now this is the reverse of saat mustaqarrama muqama hell is saat mustaqarram wa muqama a very bad place for permanent stay as well as for a temporary halt but jannah paradise is a very good place for the permanent residence also and for a small visit also so you have you may be you might have the best place but if you have to stay over there or permanently then it will lose all charm now you will find you know these are the faults here they are these, these things are difficult here but you know if you visit you find very fine kashmir switzerland but ask the people who live there is there any beauty for them in these things the hardships they will be complaining there's winter there is this thing there is that difficulty for us so these things but jannah is something which is good for permanent abode as well as a temporary stay and the hell is very bad very bad even if you you are thrown in it for a second it will show you all, all its you know evil and wickedness khalidin fiha hasrat mustaqarr wa maqama qul ma ya'bu bikum rabbi laula du'aukum say to them my lord doesn't care for you don't think that because i am you know 
پرسوئنگ یو آئی ایم کمنگ ٹو یو ٹو کنوے دی میسج آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ تو دیٹ اللہ کیئرس فار یو اللہ نیڈز یو معاذ اللہ نو ہول ما یا آبا بکم ربی اللہ دعا حکم بٹ اونلی دی رول آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ دی سننا دی لا از دیٹ بیفور پنشنگ ہی ہیز ٹیکن اپون ہم سیلف ٹو وارن اینڈ ٹو کال دیم ٹو دی رائٹ پاتھ دیٹ از وائی آئی ایم فلفلنگ دیٹ کنڈیشن اینڈ دیٹ سال ڈونٹ تھنک دیٹ اللہ کیئرس فار یو فقط کر سب تم ناؤ یو ہیو ڈینائڈ سو فسو فا یقون الزامہ ناؤ سون اٹ ول بیکم ان ایوٹیبل پنشمنٹ 